has two full communication gears. So you plug your first diver into here and your second diver into here, and you can charge it off the main battery of the dredge, or you can plug it into a 110 or, or 220 charge on this one. And the mask comes in a nice box like this. It's a real clean, professional system. Plus, having a full face mask, the, the diver doesn't have to bite down on a bit all day long. And he's a little bit more productive because he has a lot of freedom and a little higher level of comfort with something like this versus a standard uh, bite down regulator. And, and the Ocean Reef mask, I've noticed, is really good peripheral vision, too. So, just to kind of summarize, we are, I've just discussed the air system and a real quick and dirty on the uh, communication system. We're pulling the clean air and the other end of the dredge, going through the air compressors into the reserve tank traveling through the air hose up into the regulator, which is attached to the full face mask. And then I went roughly through it is an underwater communication system. And that's so, again, not to beat a dead horse, but it's very important to have good communication when you have an extremely powerful, powerful piece of equipment. And the more power you have, the more essential it becomes. So that's just uh, the basics on this system here. Okay, now that I've covered some of the basics, I went through the basic motor and pump package, the air compressor package, the air system, the underwater communication, I'm gonna, and we've even covered some of the, the basic suction intake plumbing. By the way, all these connections have to be clamped into position, and sometimes you have to take a little heat, maybe like a blowtorch or boiling water and soak the hose in it and get it good and hot so you can slide it over the uh, connections and then you use the heavy duty clamps. The, fortunately, this whole end here is all under suction, so clamps are not super essential. When you uh, go into the discharge, you have to double clamp that, and it's very important because you do not want a, you know, thousand gallons a minute coming out of a six inch hose whipping around. It'll definitely knock some over, overboard, and, and also it'll act like a jet boat, and this dredge will be swinging around in circles. So it's very important that you have all your clamps on. Um, I got Tim over, he's holding up a deck just to show you the whole dredge is built in a modular system. You'll see this one panel here, it's just basically resting into place. Well, there's another panel there, and there's also two more panels in the rear of the dredge. Now this jet is just laid in here temporarily, and again that jet is designed for one purpose, just to prime the main pump. That's going to be clamped to the uh, that hose there, which then connects into the gravel pump. And again, that system is just used for priming. But okay, Tim, go ahead and sh close the deck down for me. Be careful; it's a little heavy. Thing weighs probably about 40 pounds. It's pretty stout. But you could put, you know, multiple people equipment on top of that thing. It's not going to go anywhere. Now the dredge for when we ship it for packing is going to be broken into oh, I think somewhere around oh eight major pieces. You'll notice that these particular pontoon sections here, each, each double pontoon section it is a, an entity in itself. So this is one section, you come over here, this is another section in here, and you got one more in the rear. So the, these will be packed with the decks mounted on the pontoons, two pontoon sections and the same for the other side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six main floats. You've got four top deck replacements. You've got the main motor and pump, which is the, obviously the heaviest piece of the whole package. That's a separate unit. And there's a few cross members and so on. But it's uh, not too difficult to assemble. Especially, I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough of how everything bolts together here. Here you can kind of see how the decks are assembled here. You notice that all the pontoons are held together with a, a I think it's like a grade eight bolt. Bolts the metal straps on it. You've got a nice uh, couple cross members going across the back. And you'll notice there's a ladder type uh, framework which gives it a lot of strength going the length of the dredge. And you see these these corner pieces here, these are just designed to tie the dredge down. So if you want to tie it onto the rope, and you've got to have these things tied very well, obviously. Uh, here's just the separate, the secondary tank, which is not hooked up to anything just yet. Same kind of attachments. Don't be concerned with these brackets here. Those are actually for outriggers, but we use the same 
float frame assemblies for a multitude of different units. Just kind of show you this here. We're not using those top brackets there. Well, we can't take, we can't cut them off, but that's just to give you an idea. We were trying to mount it lower, but we were afraid the pulley would hit the water. So, and obviously you have a wet belt, so you're going to get some slippage involved. You'll notice that the engine is mounted on a set of rubber feet, which is kind of nice. It's really nice, actually. You can kind of see it. Probably shaking the camera more than the engine. Um, this ball valve here is used because the customer, he wanted to be able to wash out cracks and crevices and so. So this is an extremely high pressure pump. Pump probably does up to about 70 pounds pressure. So if they want to take a, like the one inch hose connection right there, they can simply reach across and grab this big ball valve here and close it and they'll get full pressure coming out of that small port. Also when you're running the dredge you may want to close this valve because you'll be sucking water through the pump and into the jet. So under normal operation for priming procedure you have it open, for normal operation you're going to have this valve closed. And again you can kind of see some of the main structure of the dredge over here. You got a good heavy duty cross member going across plus a lower support but really the engine provides a lot of lot of support for the dredge. Okay, I just want to point out two more things here. On the actual structure of the dredge, you've got a uh, heavy duty angle iron with a cross member that's going across the span of the dredge. That also gives it a lot of uh, cross stability. And there's another bar, walk around the machine here, over at this end here, you can see it down in there, which also gives it a lot of stability. And you notice we're supporting the dredge at the bottom of the ladder frame assembly, and the and the motor and pump supports it at the top of the uh, dredge assembly. So that keeps it from, I call it, butterflying out the frame. 